Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have another pick a card video and this one is all about what are they trying to tell you. This is a video if you have someone in your life that you're trying to understand what's going on with them or maybe you're not even communicating anymore, you're just trying to understand what are they trying to tell you with their actions, with what's going on at the moment, okay? Just to understand this person and this is the video for you. So just concentrate on this person and then focus on one of the piles or the crystals and see which one resonates the most. And go with your gut feeling, your first choice is most likely the right one, but of course you can watch the full video, see which one resonates the most, okay? This is going to be group number one with the green crystal, group two with the yellow, and group three with the blue. Okay, so you see which one go and resonates with you the most, and this is most likely the right one for you, okay? And like always, let me know if it helps you out in any way. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. Let me know if you have other fun ideas for picker cards as well, and I'll make sure to add to the channel. If you want to be on my lives, I'm having every Thursday, 6 p.m. GMT, Ireland time, okay, EU time, um, uh, lives, okay, pick a card videos, and you can ask your questions, or there are many fun things you can go through as well together, okay, every Thursday, 6 p.m. And uh, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the, in the description below. If you want to contact me, if you want to have a private reading, something very specific for your situation, all the details will be there, as well as the timestamp, okay? So just concentrate on the person that you have an issue with, that you have, you're trying to understand what they want to tell you, and then go with your first choice, okay? Again, guys, this is going to be group number one, two, and three. Timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if you chose the beautiful green crystal, we live here to help us out. What are they trying to tell you? You're already concentrating this person. We have here the Emperor, also the King of Earth, and the High Priestess, also the Sun, and we have Fear, we have Friendship, we have acceptance. I'll read the full messages in a bit and I'm going to take one extra card at the end as well from a different deck, okay? Very interesting here, group one straight away here with the emperor, okay? You can see the message here is organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So I feel like this person is trying to organize their lives, okay? It's trying to have some structure organizing things, trying to be very logical on this situation. They don't want to use too much of their heart and just trying to go with the the right decision that they think is right in their mind, okay? And uh, there is a situation here that um, they're trying to, and uh, they should be using the intuition, but I don't think that they are. They are like trying to find the balance between logic and heart, okay? So like mind and heart here, because uh, you can see here as well, the high priestess is here. And listen to your intuition, have patience, okay? Consider careful what you want before acting. So as I feel like they have some feelings for you. They're trying to organize their mind, their feelings here because they have maybe a goal or something that is on their mind that they wanted to achieve or they try to organize. And maybe the situation with you is not as straightforward, okay? But they're trying to be very careful before making any decision here. Like always, guys, take what resonates, okay? We do have here the King of Earth, and, and this is showing a, a successful time. Definitely accept opportunities you've offered, okay? So this person here maybe is trying to concentrate more on their work at the moment, trying to get the, a situation that uh, can get them into a more successful time, uh, no, taking an opportunity somewhere, okay? Because this is connected to work as well, say professional life, responsibility, trying to be very practical here. I feel like they have the intuition that they should be using, but they're trying to avoid and just to be very practical here in your situation, okay? Because we do have fear, we do have uh, like, a, like a situation that they're trying to release the fear here. And there is a happy outcome, okay? We do have the sun here. But in any case, the fear is here. So they need to deal with this situation first. So what they're trying to tell is that there is some fear, okay? They're trying to release, okay? Because this, the message here is, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So I feel like, see, they're trying to really release 
okay? Because they understand that they had fear and they have been tested in this situation here. So I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a real battle, okay? Like mind versus heart here. They're trying to, and they have friendship here as well. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So maybe they wanted to keep you as a friend for, you know, at least for now, you know your situation, of course, with this person, okay? So maybe they're just trying to hold on to you as a friend and afraid that you commit, afraid that you to go to the next step here, okay? I feel like this is what they're trying to tell. They're trying to get rid of the fear, but uh, they don't want to get rid of you or anything like that, okay? They are trying to hold on to your friendship. Maybe you are not together, at least some of you, or maybe you are you are together, but things are not going so well. But they are trying to hold on to, to your friendship. They're trying to be your friend as well, or they're trying to communicate in a friendly way just because they are trying to really resolve this battle, okay? They do have some internal battles going on here with fear. They are understanding that, okay? They are realizing that this is like a test, something they needed to go through, but they needed to really focus on what they want here. They should really be concentrating on having uh, that deep knowledge of their intuition, okay? But I feel like they're being, it's a little bit hard for them to see the, the results with their intuition at the moment, okay? I feel like they're really concentrated on work and trying to be busy, to not think about the two of you, just to get rid of their thoughts. But they do have the feelings there and that they have to deal with. So I feel like they're just trying to avoid at the moment because of fear. But it's not something they're going to do forever, okay? Because we do have the acceptance here as well. And I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So there are things that they can't change about this situation or what you have gone through or this relationship. And they're just trying to maybe heal and release the past, okay? And then get rid of their own fears. They have some internal issues here, okay? And some of that has nothing to do with you. I feel like it has to do with maybe what they have gone through or they past, the past relationships or family issues. They have some deeper issues here that they are bringing to this relationship they are trying to avoid because they do understand that they have to learn i feel like they are still learning with the situation okay because they are trying to concentrate like they are trying to concentrate on their intuition i feel like they are going a lot on to work or getting busy just to avoid but they know that there's something they're going to have to deal with at some point because i feel like they do have feelings for you they are trying to get it to a, a certain point so they're just holding on to you uh, as a friend for some of you or in some cases like you feel like they are they are trying to be friends or they're trying to communicate with you but uh, they, they do have fears so they are avoiding i feel for some of you at least okay they're trying to avoid here but if they listen to their hearts to their intuition and have patience with themselves and i feel like this patience is here for you too okay? if you wanted to give a chance to this person if you wanted to understand them you will need to have patience okay but the thing is after all this, there's a learning process here and you do have a good outcome here because the sun is here. Okay, guys, so you do have here the happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So I feel like they are building their confidence. Okay, they're trying to build this way for them to be really there like the emperor. Okay, having uh, more stability, being able to be there for you. And then they would be able to like move forward. I feel like this is just a process that they are going through. And uh, you can be there for this person like a friend. Or even if you are in a relationship with them, you can be there like more as a friend. Okay. Not so much thinking or concentrate on the relationship itself. Sometimes we need to be more friends with the person. Okay. We should be friends with someone you have a relationship with anyway. Being able to talk freely is just a way to communicate with this person like you would with another friend, okay? So how would you be able to approach them with patience, with love, with care, if you wanted to be there for them, okay? So you know what, guys, what situation you are at the moment, of course, it's like always take what resonates. But what I'm saying is, the, if you want this to progress and you want them to be in your life at some point, if they're not yet, or if, they, if you want them to get more serious, if they are not yet, you just need to have patience, okay? They are dealing with something at the moment. Some of them are concentrated in work, okay? And they're trying to avoid the situation. And some of them are already learning and understanding that they will have to listen to their intuition, have patience with the situation, and the happy outcome will be there. But there's some fear to be dealt with, okay? They are going to be able to release the fear and um, 
accept and learn with what they have not been able to change in the past or change in this relationship. But it's really a matter of patience here. So this means I feel like it's going to take some time to be resolved. Okay. And uh, it's just a matter of, like I said, if you wanted to be there for this person, if you want the, this relationship to progress, you know, if they are already in your life or not, it's it will depend on you. But there is a happy outcome. Okay. It's not something that is happening straight away. I feel like they'll need to be patient from both sides here. But there is a happy outcome. I want to take one extra card here for you guys. And uh, just this card here, I feel like an advice for, for you, okay? Like in this situation. Both of you or at least you, okay? You see what will come here. We, we, you, you see what resonates with you, okay? And the message here is change your own battery before you try to save the world. So I feel like this here. It's for you guys that are trying to stay there for this person. You wanted to be there for them. And I feel like you, you in this case, you're saying change your battery. It's like recharge yourself, okay? So I feel like concentrate on yourself. If you can take care of yourself in this situation, okay? Until they are dealing with themselves. Or like I said, be there for them, but don't forget about you, okay? So recharge yourself, for you to be able to help them and be there for them but you needed to concentrate on you too so don't forget yourself in this in this process here because it's not an easy process that is going on i don't think this is an easy situation but you will have the happy outcome it's just a matter of time and patience if you wanted to be there okay guys because of course it's your decision if you already wanted to leave this person dealing with what they need to deal by themselves is up to you but if you wanted to be there for them as a friend or in a friendly way, the way you would communicate with them, another friend, just make sure you recharge, you have time for yourself for them to be able to dedicate to them because I don't think this is an easy situation, okay? But in any case, guys, don't forget the sun is here. So there will be a happy outcome at the end of the day. So it's just a matter of time and patience, but it's a saying here, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. So if you want to hold on to that, concentrate on you, make sure you're recharging and you'll be there for them. You will see this happy sun outcome for you too. Okay. So this is what I have here for you, group one. So I hope it helps you out in some way. And like always, if it does, let me know, leave me a comment and I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group number two, if you chose the beautiful yellow crystal, we live here to help us out. What are they trying to tell you? Just concentrate on the person. We have 10 of fire. The will, also ten of water, and knight of water. We have guilt, relationships, honesty, and I'm gonna take an extra card at the end, okay, for you. Very interesting here, group two, straight away. Ten of fire, okay? You can see the message here is too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns, okay? So this person is in a stressful situation at the moment, okay? they Maybe you, you are already on their lives or maybe they are not communicating anymore, but there is some stress going on, okay? There's too much work going on. It could be on their minds. It could be on their specific job that they are doing right now, okay? So they could be very busy at their job and taking too much on their plate or trying to deal with many things at the same time, but they are really busy and they need to focus, okay? We do have also the will. And saying that it is a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, okay? So there is a chance for this to change, okay? So this is just a period of time here. I feel like they have been caught trying to do so many things at the same time and not have been able to. Maybe they should be reaching out for um, help or accepting help from others and trying to bring this, this balance into their lives. So I feel like they are trying to bring, okay, the balance here. It's not like they want, they don't want to, they want to just concentrate on that and forget about all the other areas of their lives. That's not the case. They do want to bring things around and change because they, they do have a, a goal for the positive change here. 
okay the situation that they're trying to to turn around this will in their favor okay but things will turn around okay i feel like this is just a, a phase that they're going through and like i said it could be work specifically it could be just in their minds their the harsh situations that they're going through right now but we do have the 10 of water which is another 10 okay so there is a really uh, a, a completion of a time here a situation a cycle that is ending on their lives because we also have here for the 10 of water a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships so i feel like this is a person that you can trust okay or at least they are trying to let you know that they are trying to make you trust them because they do want that family life that uh, fulfillment okay that um, stability as well i feel like they have been working very hard on the relationship but also outside they have been caught busy okay not being able to concentrate so much i feel like they wanted to give time to the relationship and want to have that uh, balance is just because they were caught out of balance okay because they had to concentrate much more on their work or because they ha have been confused okay with their own thoughts as well so it could be the way that the the mind work and they were caught on the past issues and guilt as well okay because there is something here that they're trying to release okay i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so i feel like there was some guilt situation regarding their past or maybe a situation that happened with the two of you any situation that happened before that they could not resolve or they were not nice to you or something happened okay that they feel guilt and they're trying to release this guilt to bring the balance back into the situation this relationship that they really wanted to trust on them again okay so you know what's going on there guys you know what's uh, your situation specifically take what resonates but what i'm saying is they are trying to show you that they want to commit that they, they wanted this family life as well okay but there is some guilt here that they're trying to release they understand that there, there was a need to grow maybe they have been immature in a previous situation okay but it could be with yourself or it could be with the past relationships that they have guilt they brought into this relationship so you know the situation of course but i'm just saying they are trying to release this and bring the balance back okay and we do have relationships i am attracted to those people who serve me higher good so i feel like they hold you into this higher standard okay they feel like you would be someone who would be able to help them into a higher good okay bringing them into a better place making them a better person okay so they feel like you are this person that can help them that's why i feel like they want you in their lives they're really trying to tell you that but i feel like they have been confused in a way or they have not been able to be very clear and honest okay with you but i feel like this is a phase that is ending like the two tens there they are like a completion of a period that needs to move okay and it is moving because we also have the movement of the will and this is moving towards something really good guys because we do have here the the night of water okay which is emotional romantic enthusiastic contemplative okay we do have here the message falling in love or wedding proposals the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So guys, this is really a chance here. You know what's the situation with this person, okay? But what is happening here is this person is really falling in love with you again or just falling in love with you if this is a new person in your life, okay? You know, this is someone who is actually trying to bring a balance here. You know, guys, where you are at the moment in the situation. But for some of you, they are actually trying to organize their lives bring more balance and even propose okay so there is a wedding as well here for some of you or just commitment okay in this situation so they are trying to commit here for you and just just trying to organize i feel like they're trying to balance the work life and the relationship okay they're just trying to, maybe they were stressed at work or like i say stressed with their past and the guilt that they were trying to release and grow i feel like there was some healing some work that they had to be done with themselves or even inside this relationship okay because the relationship is here but i feel like they hold you in a higher standard that this relationship they understand they have been able to grow and understand that that does bring them into a better place okay so the two of you together is a good connection they feel like in their heart so what they are trying to tell you here is that they un they understand now that they need to release guilt grow okay and they understand that this connection is a beautiful relationship that can really become something serious okay and they can balance they, they can bring the balance back into their lives with you 
and it can be honest with you, okay? I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So they are really trying to, I feel, work on themselves, grow and heal and be truth to themselves, okay? Be honest with themselves so I can, they can be honest with you, okay? In this relationship. This is really beautiful here, guys, okay? But it, it is a situation that maybe for some of you right now, they're still on the ten of fire, which is that hard work, okay? Like uh, trying to balance, trying to bring that back. So it depends on you guys, if you want to just this person in your life or this is a relationship that you're working with and you wanted to be there for them, just make sure you're honest as well, the same way that they are. Help them grow and uh, take away any guilt. If there is any forgiveness that the two of you need to work together, you know if this guilt is with you, with ha what has been done or happened with the two of you, or if it's a situation that happened in their past, okay? But if you wanted this to progress, it really, there is a chance to do that because you can see here, the wheel is turning, okay? Finally, things are fortune in your side. Things are really moving here forward. And moving forward to a commitment to wedding proposals for some of you to a more balanced period of time in this situation, which is the most important here, okay? Bringing balance. But like I said, guys, maybe they are is still on the ten of fire. Maybe it's still on the stress. It's still in that side that it is still moving, okay? So depend where you are at the moment. There is a progress going on. And this, this is a beautiful result here if you wanted to stay and if you wanted to be there for them okay so take what resonates guys you know what what will be the case here for some of you will be different i do want to get an extra card here from the musicals um oracle and uh, all the details will be below if you want to have those cards for yourself those are beautiful beautiful cards okay beautiful quality as well i'll have a walk through of them in my channel but there's a message here just for you like i feel like taking one extra card just for you in this case okay or you can apply for the two of you of course but um just for you to understand what's going on here as well okay i have here these beautiful cards you can see the lovely colors love blossoms through tenderness so you can see guys maybe this in this situation you really needed to use of love of tenderness okay to help each other to be able to grow and um, just trying to make sure you see here all the cards just to make sure that you two can be together if that's what you want okay guys of course it's up to you it's your decision but i'm saying if you wanted to be there if you wanted to wait for this will to finally turn and things really move forward the there is a beautiful connection here like i said pro, uh, proposals for some of you weddings and at least balance and the commitment as well but love blossoms through tenderness so i feel like for you to be there for this person if you want the, the things to progress you will need to be there with like uh, love honesty kindness tenderness okay and you can finally progress together so there's a beautiful future here for you guys if you wanted to be there of course like i said depends on you depends where you are at the moment but you can see this is what they're trying to tell you okay there's really a situation that they have been stressful with the past with the work itself with with their lives and have been guilt as well okay they know they have done something wrong or things didn't work as well as they expected but there is a growth period that they're going through they're trying to be more honest with you and they understand that you this relationship can really serve them in their highest good so that's why i feel like they wanted to commit and get to this point so they're just trying to to turn the wheel here okay it's up to you guys if you want to be there but remember love blossoms through tenderness if you want to be there with you know with this person if you want to wait for the wheel to turn if you wanted to get there there is some commitment ahead so beautiful card here for you guys there is a beautiful result it's up to you of course but let me know if it helps you out in some way if it resonates let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you and like always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching group number three if you choose this beautiful blue crystal we live here to help us out you know your person already what are they trying to tell you we have the four of water also eight of water and we have ego we also have nine of fire 
sure you see everything. We also have a failure, empathy, growth. And I'm going to take one extra card at the end as well, okay? So straight away here, group three, we have the four of water, okay? And the message here is missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. I feel like this person, guys, is a little bit uh, away from you. So maybe some of you are not communicating. Of course, you know what's going on, but, you know, take what resonates, guys. But what I see here, like, uh, they are not communicating well, at least, if you're together. All right? But I feel like for some of you, not communicating, and uh, they're just uh, not accepting or not responding. Okay? So just concentrating on what they want and uh, missing, you know, the opportunities to be with you. And this is someone who's a bit discontent and bored, okay? With their lives, with themselves, okay? It doesn't mean you specifically, but it's like they're searching. They're concentrating so much on what they want or just concentrating in one specific area and they're not seeing anything else, okay? And you can see here with the eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth, okay? So I feel like... Uh, they are not accepting anything else. They're trying to, to search and focus on something here that they, there's going to be some meaning, okay, into their lives. So I feel like they're a bit lost, okay, here. And uh, they wanted to move on. It doesn't mean move on from the relationship or from you specifically. It could be for some of you, okay. But I feel like it could be like they wanted to move to a different place in this relationship or in their lives really okay so they're trying to find meaningful spiritual emotional growth here so they're trying to grow and i feel like they don't know how okay and there's some false sense of entrapment as well with the ego here okay so it's a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts so I feel like here, when they are really missing the opportunities and not seeing that maybe you're trying to be there for them or maybe you're reaching out, they are, there is some false entrapment here, okay? They are really focusing on material things or things that are not uh, really important or good for their lives, okay? So maybe they are trapped into negative thoughts, fears, and uh, even addictions for some of you. You know, guys, what's the situation? You know, take what resonates, of course. But some of them, at least, are just trapped into this negativity, okay, for some reason. Maybe it's because of something they did to you, or maybe how their relationship went, or even their past relationships. Maybe it's nothing to do with you, okay? It's just something that they need to deal with internally. But to not worry too much, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, okay, guys? This is not all negative. This is just like a phase that they are going through at the moment, and that they're just uh, needed to focus a little bit and grow, okay? And failure is here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So I feel like they have made a mistake with you guys, or at least something in their lives, or, you know, the past, something that they are trying to deal with, and they are focusing, because they understand that they they have failed, okay? Maybe failed you, uh, this relationship, you know what's going on, of course. But I mean, there is an opportunity to learn here. Maybe it's, this opportunity is not just for them, but for you as well. What do you really want in your life? What is acceptable or not, okay? And there's some empathy here as well that you needed to use if you wanted to be there for this person. And, and it's saying here as well, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So if there's something they wanted to tell you is this, okay? They are open to see both sides of the situation, okay? It may be that they are focusing a lot on themselves first, but they are trying to, like I say, grow and uh, get to something very meaningful. And they're trying to understand what's going on, okay? So they understand there is some failure. They, they have failed in this relationship, in this situation, or themselves, okay? You know the situation here, of course. But I'm saying there is some failure here that is an opportunity to learn for them and for you, okay? So if they learn, if they wanted to take this opportunity to learn, okay, I feel like they would be because the empathy is here. is saying that uh, they are open, okay, to see the situation. So there will be, if you're not communicating yet, there will be a chance for communication again, and they will be open to see the both sides of the situation. So listen to you, see what you have to say as well, what's going on in your side that you can bring into this. But this is an opportunity to learn, okay, guys? So if you really wanted to be there for this person, this is really a chance that you will need to communicate 
and grow, okay? Because you can see here, I wanted to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And I feel like this is connected with the Eight of Water, which is saying like it's a search for something more meaningful. And I feel like it could be more meaningful in this relationship or in their lives in general. Maybe they are doing something that they're not happy with. Maybe they are not doing the job that they want to. Or maybe their relationship got to a point where they were not happy with each other. Their communication was not there. The empathy was not there, okay? And you were failing each other, okay? So they understand that it's an opportunity to learn. So what do you do from here? If you're not communicating anymore, if you got to this point, you're together still, but things are not well, okay? So what's the point here? Now it's to move forward. So can you learn with this situation? This is an opportunity to learn, okay? Can you see each other's side here? Can you grow with this and bring into a more awareness into a more meaningful situation relationship something that can really have an emotional growth here for the two of you if the two of you can grow with this situation can learn and can move past whatever have happened so far there is a chance for growth and for something good because we also have here the nine of fire and the nine of fire is back to the passion the things that you really want okay and it's saying here don't give up protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So I feel like this can go two different ways here. Okay, guys, this don't give up. It's in the first place is don't give up on yourself. Okay, what have you created so far? You need to have courage and believe in yourself. First of all, if you wanted this person back in your life, or if you wanted to be there for them, if they still in your life, you know the situation, of course. I'm just saying, take what resonates, guys. If you wanted to be there, if you wanted to be together, there is a need to grow, to have empathy with each other. Don't give up easily and have courage to speak up, to be ready to help and be there for each other. Okay, there is a chance here, but you need to believe in yourself. There is a need for courage to speak the truth with love, to really be honest with each other, you know. And there is a chance here to speak again if he, if you're not speaking anymore, guys, because each, each one have a different situation here. But there is a chance here to grow no matter what, okay? So it's up to you if you wanted to be there for them or if you just gave up and you wanted to understand what they're trying to tell you. And I can tell you that they, they understand that they have failed and that they are open to see your side as well, okay? And they needed to grow here. And there is a chance to grow here. It's a big chance to grow and really reach something that is more emotional fulfilled. Okay, so if you wanted to be there, guys, I know it depends. Some of you will may not, not be communicating anymore. They don't want to be there anymore. Just want to understand what happened. It's up to you. So don't give up. If you don't want to, to give up, there is a chance here to connect again and uh, believe in yourself and bring this back into something that is that is, has this deep spiritual and emotional growth, okay? First, you need to really be able to open the eyes and see both sides of the situation too, okay? So this is like some something that will be very emotional as well for some of you, you know, guys, but there's some negative fear-based thoughts that need to be released here from their side first. So if you want to be there for this person, okay, have courage, don't give up, and you can achieve something. I wanted to take extra cards here from... From the Musincus Oracle, just an extra card here for you. I feel like it could be for you, yourself, okay, as an advice for you. And we do here also let the angels do the work, okay? So I feel like, guys, this situation, you will need to have some um, faith and ask for help as well, okay? And these angels could be the higher powers, the angels, whatever you believe, but it could be someone that you reach out as well, okay? It could be couples therapy, it could be a counselor, could be someone giving you guys advice, or even just yourself, okay? So if you want to move on and you don't want to be there, okay? Let the angels do the work, okay? Situations will roll and you may not need to worry too much and the doors will be there for you to have an opportunity to talk again or to grow, okay? But it, remember, it's always both sides. You cannot do everything yourself. But if you wanted to be there, if you wanted to not give up in this situation, there is a chance here for you to grow together as well. Like you needed to really grow and see each other's sides of the situation, okay? But it's up to you guys, of course. So let the angels do the work. And like I said, it could be someone who is an angel in your life. 
who will give the advice that you need or like i said the, the therapy that you two need but you will have a chance okay guys if you want it but there's a growing period here they do need this time for themselves as well but if you wanted to be there empathy okay is a word that is jumping up for me here so it's i don't feel like this is a very easy situation here guys but also when you let the angels the higher powers help you okay other people accept help us out from others you do have a chance to not just grow but uh, not get so much you know so much burden into yourself just alone okay there's so much you can do with others helping you as well so consider that guys and uh, you know give to the higher powers as well prayers meditation concentrate on yourself okay what you want and believe in yourself okay you can turn this around however you want here if whether you wanted to give them a chance and be there for them or if you wanted to move on so it's up to you guys let the higher powers do the work as well so you can rest a little bit okay very interesting here guys this is what i have for your group three doesn't seem like it's easy but there is a light at the end of the tunnel okay so like always let me know if it helps you out if it resonates in any way and if it does leave me a comment let me know and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching